Hey guys, it's Amex Zero with a video for CommonThief.com. This is not an official video for Common Thief. All of those will be posted on the actual YouTube channel, and I'll link to that for you to subscribe to. But this is something that I made for Common Thief that I think my normal YouTube subscribers will love. So, I'm going to open up CommonThief.com. So, I got us some credit card readers to, uh, to sell on CommonThief.com. They're just little USB... Uh, credit card readers that plug right into the front. Now, most credit card readers that are sold are obviously sold for businesses, and they work through a serial port instead of USB, which they interface kind of like a, like game controllers do. It's straight data. It comes in as binary code. It's decoded with software and goes on from there. And there's a great program for that already. It's open source too, and it's called Stripe Snoop, which is great. However, I tried to use Snipe, uh, Stripe Snoop with my credit card readers, but it didn't work. And I'll tell you why. These are native USB credit card readers, and what that means is it's not going in with direct uh, code. There's no drivers needed because it's emulating a keyboard. These credit card readers just plug in, you swipe your card, and it starts typing like, like a keyboard would, all the data decoded already. So it's a much more universal thing. It works on, should work on every type of computer because there's no drivers needed, it's just a keyboard is what the computer thinks. Um, but Stripe Snoop doesn't know how to deal with that text data. It's not what it's used to. Um, so it can't parse it, as far as I know it can't, I couldn't make it work. But uh, what I did was I wrote a program that takes that text string and splits it up into the useful data so it's not so confusing to the average user. Um, so I'm going to link you to this page right here. If you click software right here under product description, It'll tell you a little bit about it, and there'll be a link to the Source Co uh, SourceForge uh, website where I have it hosted. Now, I want to stress this very much. I need to stress this so much. It is open source, completely open and free. You don't have to buy anything for me to get it. You don't have to yell and say, oh my god, Epic Zero is trying to steal credit card info. It is s open source. You can download the source and compile it yourself read the source code, you can see that it's completely clean. So, for anyone who's about to make that argument, don't. Because if you don't want to download the source code and you don't understand Java, that's totally fine. But but don't yell about it because the source code's there. Other people will tell you. Sorry to sound harsh, I just I know people are going to say this. So, click Files, and there's a .jar right here. This is like a .exe if you're on Windows. Um, or it'll work on Mac too in Linux. Just run it and it will open. And here's the source code which was coded in NetBeans. So just open it up in NetBeans. You can see the source code for yourself. It's totally clean. All it is is some string parsing. Um, it, it, I mean, honestly, if you want to be super secure, what I would actually do if this wasn't already my program, open it up in a virtual machine, disconnect your internet. And then, I mean, take any precaution you want. Just please don't say I'm still in credit card when the source is right here. But, anyway, continuing from there, here is the dot .jar, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. And this is what you would see. Now, normally from here, what you do is you swipe your credit card, and it will type it right there. Now, I don't want to give you guys my credit card info, so I'm not going to swipe my credit card. Um, I will show it in the official video in the... Um, on the other channel, but I'm, I'm still going to change the credit card info, obviously, so that I can show it. Um, I'm going to show the device, not the card info. So, here we have, I took my credit card swiping and pretty much changed all the numbers, but I made it still f conform to credit card format. Um, but no, it's not a valid credit card number, it doesn't work, it doesn't hit the checksum, it's totally useless, but it proves my point. So, normally what you do is you swipe in your card, it types the data in there, it takes about two seconds, and what you would do from here is press Parse Info, the only button on the form. Go ahead, there it is. These four boxes right here are the most important. You have your credit card number, the expiration date, the name on the credit card, and the type of card. One thing about the type of card is this program's still beta, so I only have Visa cards, so I was only able to test with Visa and the rest I got from research. Um, if there are any problems, SourceForge has a ticket system. I will absolutely fix the code if there's anything wrong with it. I know this program doesn't work with 
uh, gift cards too well, even though I thought it would. So gift cards follow a different format. I will try and acquire myself different types of gift cards to go over that. Right now, I, I don't. I only have one gift card in my wallet, so that doesn't help. Um, service format and discretion data. None of that's really useful to you. Um, what it's used for is to calculate the CVV number. It's that three-digit number on the back of a credit card, or I think it's, I think it's American Express. It's four digits on the front. We can't calculate that without a supercomputer, so th this program can't do that. It would take years on a, on your computer, like literally years. So it's still useful because not too many people are so keen on reading this stuff up here. So. Basically, I'm just trying to make the product I'm selling much easier to use, and honestly, anyone anyone can download this. It's not a problem with me. So, we're all set. Open source, totally, I mean, like I said, don't go complaining because you can compile it yourself. I know I'm sounding totally harsh, but this happens to me all the time. All right. So, like I said, there's a link to subscribe to the other channel. There's a link to the website. Uh, feel free to go to both of those, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.